In this video, I'm gonna show you four simple steps that you need to do to run profitable Google Ads. By the end of this video, I'm gonna be taking you from beginner to expert so you can run your own ads online so you can make money with your online business. Now, these four steps are simple. Number one, I'm gonna take you through how to start your own campaign, get everything set up, take you through step by step, show you some little tips and tricks so you can run profitable ads. Number two, we're gonna go through setting up an ad group and actually creating your ad so your ad will show up in Google and people will click it. Number three, I'm gonna take you through how to understand keywords so you can optimize your ads and you can make more money from your ad. And number four, I'm gonna be taking you through some advanced features and optimization so you can optimize your ad so it becomes extremely cheap because the cheaper your ads are, the more money you make. All right guys, so now let's get started and I want you to pay attention very closely because Google does make it a little bit complicated to get started. It's very easy to do, but they do a few little things that could confuse you. So pay attention so you can start your Google ads. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have a Google account uh, and a Gmail. You will need one of those to get started. All you do is go into Google and sign up a Gmail account. It's very simple. The next step is you want to go into Google and type in Google ads and then click the link to come to this page here. Now this is the Google Ads page where you can sign into your Gmail account and you can start now. They've got all the um, contact information, everything you need. But they will also give you, um, in my country, they'll give me a $100 credit so I can go and start running ads for free without spending any money. So it's quite a good little thing to do. Uh, so you can go and get the code if you like. It depends on your country. Some countries don't have this option. Now, once you sign in or sign up, you should be taken to a page like this, okay? And this is where it gets a little bit complicated and some people get uh, confused. What you wanna do is you wanna go down to switch to expert mode. Once you switch to expert mode, it's gonna bring you to a page like this. Then you wanna click on create an account without a campaign. Because what Google does is it's trying to help you, take you through the process of starting an ad. But when you're brand new and you don't know anything about Google Ads, this isn't really the right step to do. So just click create an account without a campaign. Now once you've done that, you'll be taken to a page that might look similar to this. So this is my live real account. We have done quite a bit of money on this one in the last kind of year. Uh, this is a real account, okay? And you won't have much information in here. We'll go through some of the advanced stuff later on in this video. So make sure you stay to the end to see that sort of stuff. But what I wanna do is I wanna show you how to make a simple ad, an ad that shows up on Google when someone searches something for your product or whatever you're trying to sell. So the first step you wanna do is you want to go to campaigns. Now you might have to go into the settings to set up your credit card. To do that, all you gotta do is go to tools and settings and go to billing settings. And you can go and put in your credit card if you wanna go and run the ads or you might have a coupon. We'll get more into the details and the advanced features later on in this training. The first thing you wanna do is click on all campaigns and what that's gonna do, if you can't see this little um, thing on the, on the um, right here, on the left, just click the little tab and it'll come up. Click on all campaigns and then you wanna to go to campaigns on the little um, gray white bar on the left. And then click this little plus symbol, the blue circle, and it'll start and then click new campaign. Now, this is where a lot of people kind of get confused as well as at, when you're starting your, your account, it's fresh. Google doesn't really have any information. So, you know, you can try and run an ad for sales, leads, web traffic and stuff like that. But a lot of the stuff isn't really gonna matter at this point of time. For example, if you were to start a sales ad right now, Google doesn't really have much information. And what a sales ad does is it basically Google uses its algorithm to find you people that are most likely to buy, but they don't know that information just yet. So what I would recommend you do for the search um, ad that we're gonna be doing is doing website traffic or create a campaign without any guidance, okay? So what I will do for this particular video is I'm gonna click create a campaign goal without any guidance so we can customize it ourselves and put our own options in. Now, once you, um, once you click that, you're gonna have these options. We're gonna do a search campaign. Now for this training, we're gonna use one of my products here. This is a theme that's used on e-commerce stores and dropshipping stores. This is my own product. Now you would have your own product. You might be selling a course, you might be selling your own e-commerce products. 
You might be um, trying to promote a blog. You might be doing something, but you, you will need something to promote in the Google search. If you don't know what Google search is, it's when an ad shows up right here. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on in this video. So you wanna click on the search button and just click website visits, okay? Don't pick website traffic from here because we want to do create a custom campaign so we have more options. However, it will ask you what type of um, stuff you want to get out of this campaign. So I'm going to click website visits and then just put in your website address. So I'm going to take my one here, ecomturbo.com and I'm going to simply paste it into here and go to continue. Okay, there are some other ad options. I'll talk about those in another video or at the end of this particular video. Now, the first thing you want to do is name your campaign. So I'm just going to name this YouTube test. Now, go down to here and you want to uh, untick include uh, Google search partners. That doesn't work very well. Um, you want to just exclude that, okay? And uh, the include display network, you want to take that off as well um, because we, we, don't, we, we, we don't have stuff where people are browsing sites. We just want to put our ad in front of people who are searching with specific keywords okay uh, and then scroll down and click more show more options now this is something that a lot of people don't do and it can really mess things up for them down here you want to um, make sure that this is set to no date okay you don't want an end date you just want to run your ad and you want to check it every day and see how it's going uh, and then none of this stuff you don't need to mess with any of that the next step is quite simple it's easy. Just put in what countries you want to advertise to. So for example, my product Ecom Turbo, we are running ads for this right now. I'm going to even show you in this video. We do what we call the five stack. So the top five countries. So I'm just going to add in um, United States. I actually just add in United States for now. Uh, you can do target or you can exclude a country. I'm just going to put in, in United States. I usually do New Zealand, United States, Australia, Canada, and United Kingdom that's called the five stack so these are your locations what country you want your ad to show up in when someone searches for a specific keyword and we're going to talk about keywords in a second and I'm also going to be taking you through um, understanding keywords and all that sort of stuff but in this point in time I just want to show you how to go and create your ad and then we'll talk about some more advanced stuff in a second uh, and then your language that's pretty straightforward you can just choose what language you want i mean maybe your website's in french or maybe it's in spanish or something like that uh, these advanced settings just leave these okay we don't need to mess with audiences because we are not doing that we're going to be focusing on keywords okay now just leave this on average daily and what you want to spend per day so i'm just going to do um ten dollars and that's what I want to spend per day. Now, I'm going to get go into the um, Google Keyword Planner after this, and I'm going to explain to you how uh, you can kind of figure out how much you're going to be paying per click when someone clicks on your keywords, okay? But we will do that in a minute. Uh, I just want to show you how to create an ad. And just leave it on $10. I got mine on $10. Now, what we want to do is is um, there's a, this, this is quite important. So this is called the bidding section where you can choose conversions or clicks. I would recommend when you're starting is just to choose clicks because conversions, Google doesn't have any information on your conversions yet. Conversions are things like leads, purchases. Just leave it on clicks, okay, when you're starting. Now what you wanna do here, guys, is click on set a maximum cost per click bid limit what this means is set a maximum that you're willing to pay if you don't do that then google basically is just going to show your ad and it doesn't matter that they're just going to spend your money so i will later on in this video show you how to determine what you should pay but for example if i put in one dollar that means i'm only only going to pay a maximum of one dollar per click now it's not going to be one dollar every single time it might be 50 cents it might be 20 cents but i'm telling google i do not want to pay more than one dollar per click so google's going to optimize my ad based on that suggestion so we're going to carry on now and i'll talk more about how to choose a bid limit later on when we do some more advanced keyword research because it does all depend on the specific keyword you're going to be using but in my case, I would put in, I usually put in around about a dollar. That's what I start with. And then what you can do is you can actually increase it every single day if your ad isn't showing. 
okay? But you need to put something in there. Tell Google the maximum amount you're willing to pay or you're wanting to pay per click. And that's it for this section. Um, you don't need to mess with any of this. This is something that Google does for you and it's fine. The next stage is to go to uh, save and continue. And now we're gonna go into the, um, I think the, uh, the ad group. So the ad group is where you put your keywords. Now keywords are quite important. It really just depends on what you're selling. I don't know what you're selling, right? Um, and whatever, depending on what keywords you put in, is gonna determine how much you're going to be paying per keyword. And I'll tell you how to find that out after we've done all this. So this is my theme. I'm just gonna put in two keywords for now, and then I'll focus on a few more. So I'm gonna put in um, drop shipping store theme. So if anybody goes to Google and types in drop shipping store theme, my, um, my theme will show up, my product. However, this is qu called what we call a broad match. And we have a few problems with a broad match. So a broad match is, um, we're actually gonna focus more on this as well in the advanced training in this video, but a broad match is just a specific, is, is just a broad keyword. So not only will my stuff show up for dropshipping store theme, it might show up for best dropshipping store theme, Franklin's dropshipping store theme, um, 20 dropshipping store theme, basically whatever anybody types into Google with that search term in it, your keyword will show up, uh, your, your ad will show up. But the problem with that is sometimes your ad will show up for things that don't matter and it can cost you money. So what you can do is you can do what we call a phase match. So I can take this keyword and I can put some um, hyphens above it like this. That is called a phase match and that's gonna do things that are more closely related. So it will still show up for some other keywords but it's more closely related. Or you can do what we call an exact match keyword where I can do this and this, and it will only show up for that exact keyword. And then you can also mix things up as well. So I could do drop shipping store theme, I could do e-com store theme, and then maybe I might wanna do a broad match and do something like um, best online store theme. The keywords really depend on what you're advertising and you know stuff like that. You're gonna to have to do a little bit of research and I will show you that in this video, but this is kind of like where you put the keywords in and stuff like that. And you can create a new ad group as well. So the way Google Ads works is you have a campaign, an ad group, and then you go and create the ad, okay? But this is where you put in your keywords. So whatever you put in here is what people are gonna, gonna be searching and your ad will show up um, based on these specific keywords. So basically, if I just had in here, for example, um, Ecom Turbo by itself, and let's just put in something like Ecom Turbo Bro, uh, my ad still shows up because it's a broad match. Now, someone that's searching Ecom Turbo Bro probably isn't gonna be someone that's gonna be buying my product. So I should be doing just an exact match where it just shows up for Ecom Turbo. So I'm kind of wasting money by having the um, by by having my keywords just broad match. So what I'm trying to say is, for example, just because I put Ecom Turbo in my keyword section, my ad's going to show up for anything with Ecom Turbo in it, whether it be Ecom Turbo Bro, Ecom Turbo Mate. My ad will show up, so I could be wasting ad space. So I probably want to do an exact match, so it only shows up when someone searches Ecom Turbo, if that makes sense. So that's how you do your keywords. Now make sure you stay at the end because I'm gonna show you some more advanced keyword stuff, but I don't wanna show you just yet because I want to make this as beginner friendly as possible. So on the um, page here before we move forward, sorry, you can actually add keywords from the bar over here as well if you don't have any ideas. Google is gonna suggest some keywords for you to use. Now I'm gonna to go to save and continue, and it's gonna take us to where we actually set up the ad. So this is where we set up the th whatever shows up in Google, okay? And this is quite simple to do. So you will have your URL in there, and you'll have three headings that you can do. So the headings um, here are Ecom Turbo Official 2019 Best Converting Theme, I need to change that. But if we go down here, I'll put um, Ecom Turbo sale and you have 13 30 characters um this month only we have 
discounted. Oh, we have. Oh, so this month only, because you kind of you don't want to use all the characters. You just want to make it look as clean as possible. Ecom Turbo Sale this month only. We have this discounted. So that's the um, the heading. Now you can preview this on desktop and mobile. And what you can do is you, you can actually create multiple ads. So they run side by side and you kind of like split test them. And then if we go down here, you can also put in the description, which is what shows up here. And then once you've done that, just hit save and continue and your ad will get created. Now, once it's created, it's, I'm just going to quit out of this real quick because I don't want to do that. Once it's created, it's going to be listed here and it's going to take 24 hours to get approved around about that. Now, what you um, want to do, I'm just going to turn this off real quick because that is, I think that's it there. What you want to do then um, is just let it run. Now, what I want to do now is focus on keyword research. So you know how to create an ad. It's very simple to do. But what about keyword research? Now, this is going to depend solely on what you're trying to promote. You could be promoting golf clubs, fishing gear, or anything, or anything like that. But what I recommend you do is go into Tools and Settings and go to the Keyword Planner. And put in your keyword. So for example, I'm just going to put in drop shipping um, theme. So discover new keywords. I'm going to put in drop shipping theme. Uh, and that's and then make sure you take off, make it worldwide or whatever specific country you want to get the information from. And I'm going to, and I'm going to do get results and it's going to load up some results for me. Now, the reason you want to do this is because we're going to find out how much it's going to cost us per click. So we know if it's worth it or not for us to advertise to that specific keyword. So for example, if we go, uh, if we, we have here um, drop ship theme, okay? Now, the, it says here the low range is 23 cents and the high range is $6. So that means that the low range, I'll be paying around about 23 um, cents per click. And at the high range, I'll be paying around about $6. What this is telling me is that if I want to, so this is an auction, it works as an auction. If I want my um, ad to show up more than others, I'm going to have to be willing to pay around about $6 or around about that, you know, up to $6. If I don't want my ad to show as much, you can choose this in the ad, then I'm going to, then I will probably pay around about 23 cents. But this gives you a good indication on what you're going to be paying per click. So I could pay $1.75 all the way up to $62 for this specific keyword, okay? Now, I can't give you ideas on keywords or anything like that because I don't know what you're promoting. Another good thing about this particular thing is if we go to here again and go to Keyword Planner, um, P, uh, Google can give you what we call get um, search volume and forecasts. So they will basically show you the volume of a keyword and they'll give you a forecast of that keyword, how much, it's, how many, how much search volume is going to get in the future as well so that's quite critical when you're doing all of this particular stuff but it does depend on what you're promoting and how you're promoting it now we are going to get into some optimization and stuff like that as well once your ad has started um, but what i first of all want to do is explain to you how the keyword stuff works just to help you out a little bit more so as we talked about the broad match basically will include misspellings, synonyms, related searches, and other relevant variations. So for example, if you put in women's hats, your stuff could show up for buy ladies hats. So it'll just show up for anything based around women's hats. You can do a broad match modifier, which we didn't talk about in this video because it wasn't uh, there when we started the ad. But what you could do is you could do plus women's plus hats, and it will contain the modifier term or closer variations, but not synonyms in any order. So for example, hats for women, best hats women, and maybe something like green hats for women. What this will do is it kind of just modifies the keyword a little bit. Then we have the phase match, which I talked about. Where it's, um, so we've got women's hats, and in here it's, it's um, are a phase and a close variation of that phase. So buy women's hats best woman's hats. That's what your um, ad will shop for. Then we have exact match, which is basically the exact match. So women's hats, it will only show up for women's hats. 
Okay, so that's um, the more advanced kind of keyword stuff. When you are going to do your ad, just kind of screenshot this and look at this, and this will help you understand when you're putting your keywords into Google Ads, okay? Because we want our ads to type to come up when someone types something into Google. Now, what I want to talk about now, guys, is two things that are going to help you optimize your ads, okay? Once your ads are, um, uh, are kind of going, uh, if you can't find them, just click on these little three dots here and go to All Enable, and it will show all of your ads that are enabled. And then click Search Campaigns, and it will show your search campaign here. What you can do is you can click on the campaign. We will do the um, Ecom Turbo Clicks. So let me just show you this for a second. This ad here has made over um, all time. We've done, I think, oh yeah. So we've spent 17000 and we've made nearly $60,000 with this particular ad. And I set it up the exact way I just showed you. Now, once you click on your ad, um, we'll just go to yesterday and kind of get rid of all this stuff. So your ad will start to look like this as kind of time goes on. Now, there's a few things that Google's going to tell you. First of all, there's a recommendations tab here. And Google will recommend that you do specific things to optimize some of your ads to make you more money. Now, I don't really mess with these much because I like to do optimization myself, but you can play with a few of these to optimize your ad. The ad group tab will show your ad group. So you can edit it, edit the name and play with it there. Uh, and then we have the keywords, which you can also change as well. Um, whenever you like, you can, you can add keywords by clicking this here. Uh, we have audience, audiences and stuff. You don't need to worry about that. We have locations, which you can um, do as well. But more importantly, we have a thing called ad schedule. Okay, click on ad schedule. What um, you want to do is kind of like, so for example, yesterday, so if we go to overview, yesterday I spent a lot of money at um, 8 a.m., which was a Monday. So I spent a lot of money at 8 a.m. Now if we actually go back to schedules and we go to day and hour, it will show us for the last seven days what kind of like were my cheapest times and my best times. So um, I actually, let's go to the last... 30 days. So on Friday at 4 a.m. to 5 a.m., I made a sale. Um, I'm not really sure why where they all are. But anyway, um, average cost per click was the cheapest on Tuesday and Monday between these times. So you'll just go through and see kind of how it works. What you can actually do is you can, to, to make it kind of more simpler, you've got the day. So actually, this is probably a little bit better. So average cost per click on the day. On Sunday, I get the cheaper. Oh, sorry. On on Friday, I get the cheapest cost per clicks. And on Sunday, I get the most expensive. So I might just run my ads on these specific days. What I can actually do is go to ad schedule and I can edit the ad schedule. And I can do, I can just run my ad from Monday to Fridays from 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. And it will just run my ads for that specific day, okay? So you can, um, you, that, that's another way that you can optimize your ads and it works extremely well. So you can optimize your ads uh, that way. Another way to optimize your ads is to go to keywords and what, do what we call negative keywords, okay? So basically, if we go to the overview here, you'll see that I have all of these keywords that I don't want my ad, my ad to show up for. Okay, so for example, Ecom Turbo make money. I don't really care about that that keyword, um, so I'm going to go uh, add as a negative keyword, and I'm going to go save. So now I've added that as a negative keyword, so my ad will never show up for that particular keyword ever again. This is another way to optimize your ads. Now another way that I like to use negative keywords is to go into Google and put in negative keywords for Google Ads. And scroll down and you can get a list of the most common negative keywords and you can put them into your campaign straight away so you're not wasting money on words that don't matter. All you want to do is go and find a list, click on your campaign and go to negative keywords and then click the little blue icon here and you can simply paste in a list of negative keywords. So that, my friends, is how you can go and start your own Google Ads. Google Ads are very profitable right now. They're very, very cheap to run and you can make 
pretty good money with Google Ads if you play your cards right and you set things up properly and you optimize. Go and watch this video again if you still don't quite understand how this works. If you want some more training, I'll leave some videos up on the right that will take you through step by step how to make money online. And I'll also leave some more videos up about advertising, maybe a playlist. Now, don't forget to subscribe, tap that notification bell, smash that like button, leave a comment below if you have any questions, click the video on the right, and I'll see you there.